Well, it's Ken Conan and Aaron Sundin in the mic. We are back at it this year. Thank you for joining me, my friend. I appreciate you Well, I tell up. you, it's been a long time coming. I know, um, right? We knew it would get here at some point, but here we sit. And, uh, you know, we've got, had some canceled games. We're going to have to see how things kind of shake out this next month. There's a lot of makeup games to be made for everybody. In fact, this is the first, uh, first conference game for both teams. Um, I know that a uh, few teams in the conference have gotten games in. Strangely, um, I was I happened to work with the new Richmond head coach, Dan Kredovix, and I've been kind of talking to him about the scramble that he's had to try to get games yeah. squeezed in, and he said um, one of the Eau Claire teams, I don't know if it was Memorial, might have been North possibly. They ended up playing their first conference game against each other down in Mauston. I don't <laughs> so even know where that's at. Mauston? It's south of the Dells. They play a lot of baseball oh games oh, down there because sure. there's a lot of turf. And, and in fact, Hudson area. went yeah. down for that this year to play um, at least two or three games, and they got snowed out. No so that's way. just been oh one of those gosh. strange springs, which which just happens. Weird weather, right? It yeah. just every. I, it's funny. We had a couple softball games teed up last week, the week before, right? And it's like snow, rain, snow, rain. Yeah. And it's not good for my health right now, oh. Sunday, and I need sunshine, baby. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what it means. <laughs> And, and this, I think, Talk plays well. It, it plays well into Hudson's strengths. You know, they're, they've got some kids returning this year. One of the strengths of this team is the pitching staff, and they've got a lot of pitching yeah. depth on this team. And when you start to get into uh, a condensed season, yeah. the more pitchers you have, the better. That's kind of what you want in general, but that, that helps a ton in a season like this where all of a sudden your, say, seven-week season is condensed down to about five. Right. So, and will they send, and again, a little speculation here, but do you think they'll get in the majority of these games that have been kind of delayed? Yeah, what are your the, thoughts on that? Well, they'll get in all, they'll get in all the non or the, all the conference games. We'll see if they might cancel some non-conference, but gotcha. Von Berg on the mound today for Hudson. He's a returning senior, Logan Von Berg. It's a fun name, Von Berg. Bring in the flag here so we can see out our window. Leading off from Memorial, we have Luke Erickson at the plate, number six. So a real quick uh, recap on the seasons last year. You'll remember Hudson was a co-champion of the Big Rivers Conference, and uh, Eau Claire Memorial, however, ended up uh, going to state. So that was uh, crazy. They had a pitcher last year who uh, ended up playing at Arkansas, and uh, Vince Tapani is his name. And So he's gone this year, but there are a few – Returning players, I recognize the names. Nice pitch that time. Nice one. Right down the pipe. Two and one the count. We'll talk a little bit about who's returning for Hudson. We'll talk a little bit more about uh, nice pitch. Season so far undefeated. They have gotten five games in. Had a doubleheader against Wausau West that they swept. And also um, this weekend they played Marshfield. Swept Marshfield as wow. well. So. There you go. Nice pitch. Strikeout. Strike that number three. Swinging. Love it. Brings up the second. And uh, thoughts on the hair on the mound? It's a little tinted. Maybe a little bit blonde. Maybe blonde went wild. Yeah, so Blonde's he, gone wild yeah, on the mound here. Yeah. I remember dark hair last year. So a little yeah. a little highlight action to to uh, round out the back of the baseball cap there. I like I, it. I, as the boys had their hats off during the uh, national anthem, I could see. You know, you like the hockey here because you're a hockey guy. This is baseball <laughs> here. They trim it up a little bit so it fits nicely in that cap, and but yeah. you still have a little bit of flow coming out the back. Which I, That's kind of what I'm a fan baseball. of. I'm a fan of the flow. Are you? I'm a fan of the flow. Yeah, yeah I love it. A little thick. I was just... Uh, a little shag falling out the back, you know. Never hurt anybody. Cracked up the middle there. Bussin oh. tries to make the play. Can't quite get there. Just missed. One out single there for the old Abes. That one slipped right under the glove. That's just a tough spot. You know, yeah. you got to have a lot of range right up the middle. As, as I can remember coaching kids in the past, you always tell them, rip it right up the middle. Yeah. Pitcher's got to make a play, but that's a pretty good gap there to be able to for sure uh, get it through there and get a chance to at least leg it out. Brings us up to the number three batter here, Dylan O'Connell, number two. Yeah, it's nice to have a little sunshine here today, isn't it? Oh, it's been few and far between, it seems mm -hmm. like, this year. Mm -hmm. 
one out here, top of the first. Strike one. Interesting. So if you're watching at home, I've got a little graphic, and it does not appear that the uh, there's three bases up there. It does not appear that that is working. So I'll see if I can't work on that for next game. But uh, bear with us. We're working through the uh, the kinks as always. Nice curveball that time. Yeah. A little high. Nice so, yeah, there. I mentioned Hudson's pitching staff and, yeah. and uh, pulled the roster today and just highlighted on here how many pitchers we actually have in the rotation. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pitchers. My goodness. Wow, that's crazy. And, uh, <laughs> and, and, all, and, and again, you're going to have the top of your rotation. Of course, Brody Von Berg's going to be, or Logan Von Berg's going to be up there on that, but his brother Brody pitches as well. <laughs> Brody's on the mound tonight, I'm sorry. Uh, but Logan does pitch as well. Um, talk about Owen Wedge a little bit. He's uh, back this year and pitched some last year. Bussin can't mm. quite get the handle on that one. Took a weird little hop right before it got to him. Yeah, it just like. a little bit, uh, a little bit of a bad bounce off the grass that time. He was charging it. Oh, and have you been on the field? I haven't been out there. It looked the coach is telling me pregame they were raking the heck out of it just to help it out. But have you been on the field? No, at all? but I can, you can certainly see that it's uh, pretty moist there going down the baselines. I'm assuming there's probably a little bit of uh, mud there in the infield as well. So we'll have to see how kids do as they're on the base paths here. Yeah. Brings us up to the cleanup hitter, Jack Redwine. I remember that name from last year when Hudson played them. Get only one out here. Runners at first and second. First pitch from Von Berg is a strike. He wanted that one. Big cut. Yeah, that's a solid looking kid. Looks like he played a little uh, football too. Yeah. I think he did. If I remember right when we called those games. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of nice when you get to see you see familiar names you can't remember it really is. different sports. It really is. It's fun. Got some few few football players out here on this Hudson squad too. Yeah, I would guess the majority of the kids playing are multi-sport athletes, mm -hmm. right? I mean, yeah, on our squad, their squad. One and one here. Runner at second gets a little extra lead there. Nice block that time by Hove behind the plate. He's another returning senior, Kyler Hove. Ducharme brothers. We'll be talking about them too as well. They're both out in the field right now. I played varsity last year. Jake Buss in the shortstop. Nice pitch that time. Fastball. Oh, fall back. that's going to hit the Honda, I think. Uh oh. I parked right there. <laughs> Out of a park. I knew it. I was thinking, don't park here. Don't park here. Nah, I always going to hit it over here. You know, it's a little bit more of a crapshoot on this field. Yeah. Softball, I told you, don't park in certain spots there because you're going to get hit. Yeah. When you get that's down the by truth. the field. Oh, he cranked that one right out the center. Nice play that time by go. the center fielder, though. Runner at second. Great play. Shows tag, but holds back. Zuli that time in the center field. Just sitting kind of right in the right spot. Just yeah. Didn't have to move but a step or two, I think. Sometimes you see the crack of the bat, and you'll see a reaction all of a sudden where, you know, you – they always teach those outfielders to drop step first, yeah. which may not make sense because if the ball's lined short, but you want to make sure you don't get beat deep. So you drop step, you can always come in. Sure. Drop so step and get, kind of get the momentum kind of going step, backwards step just in back, case. Track it. That's really what you what you teach them to do is nice that pitch. first step is where you want to be able to track where the ball's at. Okay. So two outs here. Strike one on the batter here. Number five batter for uh, the old Abe's Tyson Allen. Inside that time. Hove is active behind the plate. You're not going to see too many runners try to steal bases on him. Yeah. Does a good job protecting, keeping the ball in front of him. Chatter down there. I like little it. Chatter, little chatter. <laughs> I love the chatter. Curveball that time. Ooh. Nice pitch. Throw down to second. Gets back. Oh, nice back up that nice time by the play. second baseman. Braden Ducharme that time. Yeah, that one trickles out to center field. Center fielder's got a long way to go. You can advance the runners there. Just like you said, though, great throw down to second. Keeping them honest. Yep. Got a one and two count here. Yep. 
time called by the batter. Yeah, so what did I say, nine pitchers? Yeah. Um, I can't believe that. So far, year to date, Hudson's run differential, 47 to 5. What the So that heck? 47, wow. that one, one game they put up quite a few runs, but nice pitch that time. Hove gets out there. Wow. Uh, I think they won one game 21 to 2 or something like that. So that, that certainly that inflated the numbers. But number, the number yep. that I look at is in five games, that's a run a game that pitching staff that's is crazy. getting up. So, so again, that's outlook is good there having that depth. That's interesting because – Ooh, inside that time. You look at last year, and Owen got the, yeah, got the last lion's year, share of yeah, the work, Yeah, last year really, you had you know? one horse, and then yeah. you kind of backed him up. This year, you know, the horses are there, but you've got a little bit more depth to throw. I know um, Ben Burkoff, Jr., has been pitching a lot, I've seen in the paper. So yeah. getting some new kids in the action. Runners going, Ooh. fall back. <laughs> Just got a piece of that one. Yeah, I ran into Owen and his dad this uh, this summer. Oh yeah, uh, over at uh, in Burkhart at the gas station, Bob and Steve's or whatever over there. And yep. what a great uh, great pair. Those guys yeah. are just they're just money, just great guys. Nice right, so little conversation. He's playing ball and uh, outside that time, ball four. Yeah, he's at St. Cloud State. Right. Didn't get didn't get a whole lot of uh, action. I'd say up until about a week and a half ago, and I, I looked and saw that he's been pitching. He's been pitching more now, not really okay. not starting. Okay. You know, I, he's coming in in relief, but he's doing a real nice job. He had a good game here a couple weeks ago at, uh, uh, I think it was over in Concordia, St. Paul, and had a couple strikeouts. So Owen's doing a good job. <laughs> That's awesome. Will Thibodeau, the batter here, number nine, bases loaded, two outs. Curveball just misses just, that time. Yeah, an inch or two outside on that one. So the old Abe's threatening here. Yeah. The top of one. All stacked out there right now. A good pitch nice. that time. Jammed him inside. Sure did. The fastball. 0-2. Oh, one and one. I'm sorry, that say. first one was just off the off the. Sound plate. like me calling that game. Yeah, <laughs> open your eyes, Sundin. We're still getting. You got a scoreboard to yeah. look at. Oh, he caught nice the edge that time. time. That was right at 12 o'clock for me, and that was a great pitch. So important here, again, <clears throat> depends on what Von Berg wants to come back with. Hove needs to protect here. Don't want anything to get back to the backstop, score a run. Goes with the fastball, Ooh, popped up. up. Center field coming Zuli in. Zuli there underneath it. Plants and makes the catch. There you go. No problem. No problem. <laughs> a couple, couple walks no there problem. and a hit, but. Uh, okay. Take it away. I'm going to play one more. I'm going to grab one more thing, but I'm going to let you talk. No problem. Yeah. Thank All right, you, here we go. Hudson leading off here to start the bottom of the first. Wiley Balmer, third baseman, stepping up to the plate. Number two, he's a senior. Hudson's also packed with seniors this year, too. We got quite a few players on this team kind of stacked uh, at that with that group. We have 11 seniors. So, again, last year had probably four or five seniors of that group. About three played a, a big role. Strike that time. Watching the pitcher here for uh, the old Dave's, Dylan O'Connell, warm up. Got a little mix with his pitches. He's got some speed. See what he does here on the 0 1 pitch to Balmer. Takes a little bit off that one. Inside corner strike, 0 and 2. Yeah, 0 2 here. O'Connell coming back. And the pitch. Curveball that time just misses outside. Good bend on it, but just crossed outside a little bit. Peel the first base. Did not offer. One and two. Okay. We're high tech rednecks. Gotta You're make, back. We're You're all figured. We got everything figured out okay. now. We're golden. All right. <laughs> this is going to be the best ever. <laughs> just wait. Fastball that time. Oh, boy. That looked like a that, good pitch. That did. That did. Just a little high. You got your, yeah, you got your other camera down. Oh, there he is. Look at the platform I have for him now. That's nice. See that? Yeah. Remember the one last year? It was suspect, <laughs> yeah. to say the least. Yeah. That was a lawsuit waiting to happen. 
two little uh, hobble horses, or whatever they call them. That's Just all that time fouled. Just a bit outside. That's pretty nice. So he's set up down there. It's almost like a scaffolding down there it for is, him. It is. It is. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I went over to the uh, northern, what is it, northern tool? Yeah. Oh, that place has got, talk it's about a nice having place. a guy going, oh, 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 <laughs> yeah, right, right away. Right. Ooh, look at this aisle. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. Just good stuff everywhere. Oh, uh, boy. Got him out. Got him that time on a curveball. Yeah, yeah. A couple pitches before was about the same pitch, so. Mm-hmm. Strikeout will bring up the second baseman number four. Brady yeah, I Sean. thought it was time to kind of uh, take care of Adam over there. He, he made it through last season. I thought, well, we'll get him on something other than a little plywood and some, some sawhorses. Yeah, he's he's he toughs it out. I mean, That's a good job. about some of the stuff that we put him through. <laughs> Braden Ducharme here up to bat, second baseman. Big cut. You know, I, we, uh, you, of course, you're in hockey rinks. You're probably in a heated booth there. I don't know. I got to go check not. out your digs one of these days. I am not. Popped up that time. Stay Infield, up. third baseman calling for it. Ooh, gets Ooh, under it. Almost a little, a little, little snow, snow going little at the snow end snow there, cone. right? <laughs> you know, but some of those, I, I was thinking back about, about like that year we had that late football season because of COVID and yeah. we were playing oh, yeah. up until right before deer season in oh, Wisconsin. <laughs> but I got to tell you, I think the coldest days are these early baseball and softball games yeah. because they will try to tough it out when it's in, you know, yeah. it's been rainy and snowy lately, but it's these games that are, you know, 30, 35 degrees. Busson that rip. time, Jake Busson up to the plate. Wheeling back, it's going to be foul. He's going to get out of here, I think. Up and out. Ooh, wow. He hit that one hard. <laughs> Straighten that out. Dang. But yeah, I mean, it's it's the wind that cuts through you. It's just mm-hmm. wet and it is. Well, it's that it's that. Um, it's just a little, little bit more. I hate to say it, but moist, right? Yes. Where it's uh, it's that damp and that breeze, and it just cuts you. Yep. Yeah, I remember when I lived in Virginia years ago, Virginia Beach, and I'm like, ah, you guys, <laughs> this isn't cold at all. But it's that. Damp, cold, yeah. and wind. High and away on that one. When my daughter played college softball, we used to have to travel. We'd go up to Bemidji and Kirkston, Minnesota, Bemidji. and Minot. Yeah. And I can remember um, they played a series one time where out in the outfield, who curveball that time, nice pitch. Good pitch. Where when you were looking past the outfield, 10 feet above the fence line were snow piles. No <laughs> That's how much Gosh. snow they still had up there, and they were still playing. Wow. It was just cold. That one got away from him. Two and two here on Bussin. Two now outs she, for Hudson. Is she playing still? What's going she's on not. with your daughter? Nope, nope. She's, nope. Uh, she is about ready to graduate. Wow. And, oh, awesome. Uh, and she will be she's heading to Africa this summer, so she's oh got quite the excursion going. A mission trip or what? Uh, what's um, going it's on? It's a study abroad program, but okay. it's um, cool. It's shadowing uh, community clinics and she wants to go into medical the medical field so I think it'll be a good thing for her so too busy to be playing ball this year ball out to center field center fielder drops back underneath it there to make the catch so Hudson bottom of one goes one two three after one inning no score Hudson zero and Oak Creek Memorial zero we'll be right back I'll catch Angie on the break well, pregame, we had a nice, um, there's a presentation that the team did to the Rhinos Foundation. Oh, was that today? That was today. Yeah, the boys came out, had their uh, cancer awareness pink uh, jerseys or T-shirts on. Uh, got a picture as they presented a, uh, a check, I believe, to Kathy O'Keefe, who awesome. is the awesome. Pre- wow, nailed that Light one. Out here. Yeah, he sure did. Turned on that real quick. And got out of here in a hurry. My goodness, wow. number 15 that time, Leo Lauscher. Just turned on that fastball, and it got out of here in a hurry. I thought that that was actually going to be a playable ball, but as we saw the left fielder keep dropping back, it just kind of got out of here quick. So up, big up. hit that time. And away. Kirby Puckett there. My goodness. Big Ray getting that one up and out. All Labs on the board first here. The shortstop, number 10, Bjorn Pressler. Brings up the shortstop, Bjorn Pressler. Batting eighth here. So real quick here, top of the second, Memorial on the board with a s- solo home run. Curveball ball just outside. Brody Von Berg again on the mound for the Raiders. 
inside that time. I don't know if we have any wind today. I can feel a little bit at my back. Well, some breeze weird. coming Maybe through. Maybe it's coming yeah. out of the north. 3 0 here on the number eight batter, Pressler. Yeah, you can definitely feel the breeze coming through the booth here. Inside Ooh. that time. Ball four, four pitches that time. So, Von Berg just, just needs well, to settle down a little bit. He yep. had good control in that first 16, inning. A couple, couple of missteps in the, in the field, but about ready to hear to turn this order over We've got number nine fade brewer the number nine batter up to plate popped up that time catchers looking for it hove third baseman comes in ducharme nice play and the little collision there looks like they're okay ducharme makes that catch Ooh. yeah that's tough i mean both players are playing the ball, and at the last second, sometimes you got to call somebody off. Those guys collide just a little bit, just catch some knees, kinda, maybe. Just kind of caught him. I think maybe Holt's pad caught him in the leg, and okay. right before, right after he made the catch. So, okay, looks like he's going to try to walk it off. Looks like he's going to be all right there. Nice play that time by Ducharme coming up and making that catch. Brings up the center fielder, number six, Luke Erickson. Back to the top of the order here. Luke Erickson. Runner at first, one out. One run in so far for the old Aves here, top of the second. Throw over to first, a wedge, runner back. I like, I can I can pick up some of the sounds in here. I think this is picking up these guys when they make a little chatter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I do too. That was not my idea. That was, was not. Our, our producer. I like to give him credit <laughs> where I can. It's quite often. Yeah. He goes, you know, we should have an ambient mic up there to pick up some of the chatter that happens. I'm yeah. like, what? Yeah. Well, you the don't need to hear us talk all the time. I know. Part of the problem, though, is the... Uh, Music gets picked up, too. Mm. And then YouTube likes to. Runner going that time. Hove with a throw down to second. Mm. It's like just, just underneath the tag that time. Wow. Bussing that Good time. Hustle. Got there. Get, got to the base quickly. So the old Abe's being aggressive here. Mm. Attacking at the plate. Running the bases here. So runner in scoring position here. 0-2 on the batter. Hauled off. Oh, that's a minivan. Yep. That's a minivan. That's, that's, that's where I think you have a chance to get hit with a ball. It's right those lefties here. that are falling it off. Sure. Yeah. Some good viewing up there. I noticed the uh, the seasoned uh, parents will get a, a nice lawn chair up there. Yep. Just misses mm, that time with an off speed boy. pitch. Two and two. Yeah, I'll tell you, these ambient mics that we were talking about, uh, picking up the music, it's the weirdest thing. Nowadays, YouTube, literally, I don't know if they've got some freaky algorithm or what, but they'll pick up music. Ooh, nice pitch that time. Nice. Strike three, takes a little bit off Strike it. it. Two down? Two down. Two down. Yeah, so the problem, just to finish my story as it goes on and on here, the problem <laughs> with picking up the music is they flag you, and when they flag you, they only flag you like two, three times, mm -hmm. and they shut your channel down. Oh, really? And when that happens, nice pitch that, that was great. When that happens, all the videos that you have on YouTube, like River Channel's been collecting these for years and years. They've been doing this for 15 years now. They're they get gone. rid of them. Wow. Yeah, they're all gone. Wow. They're all gone. Yeah, so it's, it's quite a power play. It's crazy. Ground ball that time. Slow played. roller over to the pitcher, Von Berg, over to Wedge for the final out. One three the put out. For the old Abes, that hit. inning. One run, one hit, the home run. The second, Hudson Hudson coming up, up to bat here, bottom of two. They just did a replay there. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of myself sometimes. <laughs> Look at that. That was great. 
All right, back at it. We we're just talking about the copyright stuff, but it's just it's nuts. You, you wish you could get some sort of, and I, I, I'd be interested to know what it costs. But I mean, if there's is there a blanket like, hey, we may you know, because how do you broadcast sports if you're like us, high school announcers? Yeah. Naturally, they're going to play all sorts of music, right? Right? Yeah. It's like a radio station. How is there some like copyright? You know, and I don't know. Yeah, there's got to be a happy sure. median or something. I would think so. I right. suppose what? Yeah, I suppose what they don't want to do is have people pirate. And, and what, what, who was the big one that um, all those bands sued like Metallica? Oh, right, right. What was the name of that? I want to say Spotify. I know it's not right. Wedge up to the up to the bait. Napster. Sorry, thank you. Throw over to first. Oh, he was safe. Legged it out that time. Good job by Owen Wedge. That one off the end of the bat. Kind of a slow roller. You got a replay coming up. Look at this bad boy. He's able to hustle that out. Long-legged Owen Wedge there with the infield single. <laughs> and he gives the I'm safe <laughs> move, too. I love it. Go, oh, Wedger. Kyler Hove up to bat. All right. Get a little something going here. Number five batter behind the plate tonight. Good start there. Wedge hustling it out. Yeah. Owen Wedge is going to play baseball next year at St. Cloud State. Oh, he is. Yeah. So him and uh, Owen might be hanging out a little. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Good to have somebody you know there help you get acclimated. Is that the Huskies? Is that right? Yep. St. Cloud Huskies? Yeah. <laughs> when I attended the University of Minnesota, there were some inter interesting cheers that we used to yell at the uh, Huskies. Oh, at hockey games? Yeah. Ooh, jams them. Oh, it sure did. Slow roller. Pitcher makes a nice play, though. Goes for the force at two. Oh, Ooh. boy. I don't looked know. Like, yeah, looked Where's like the he could have pulled on his that? foot off the bag, but again, that's a force play, so just has to beat the beat the runner. Ken's looking at it. What do you think? Yikes! I don't know. It's a bang bang play right there. It really is where that where the uh, ump was at. Really didn't have that that side to see where the foot might have come off the base there. So. Oh, yeah, it's tight. Owen McCabe coming in to pinch run here for Hove on that. Fielder's choice. So we have one out here, bottom of two. Hunter Carlson up to the plate here. Sophomore. He's the DH today. A sophomore DH, I like that. Pretty good sophomore class for Hudson. Is that right? Uh, I think they've got some good talent there. Last year, of course, you remember Sam Erickson, who was here, right? Remember yeah, Sam yeah, played? yeah, yeah, yeah. He has committed to Texas A&M already. An Aggie, huh? <laughs> I just I watched a video not wow. that long ago. He's gotten big. Really? Yeah. Huh. Working out. <clears throat> time called that time. Interesting. And where is he at now? He's down in Texas. Down playing in Texas, playing, okay. Yep, they moved down to Texas and... Like some junior leagues or what, farm no, teams no, or what's no, this? high school stuff. It's high school. Oh. Yeah. I suppose Texas, they're playing ball a little bit more often right. than we yeah. do. Yeah, oh, nice curveball that time. Yeah, year-round. Mm. So. Wow. Well, good for him. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. 0-2 here on Carlson. Selfishly, I always like to kind of... <laughs> Keep that talent, though, right? Oh, yeah, another exactly. one. Another one to the shorty left side of the field. They're looking to turn two. They're able to get that. Just a hot shot that time to the shortstop. Gets, gets it to second to turn the double play. Hudson, a little bit of a threat that inning, but uh, no runs. One hit and no, one left. After zero, zero, one zero. All righty. Welcome back to uh, Hudson Field. Is that we're Grandview calling Park? Grandview Park. I yes. don't know. You always have to, are trying to come up with different names for I stuff. Am, so why I don't am. you put that out I there am. and see if you can get some names? I know. I got to get my uh, text the booth going here. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, Dylan O'Connell here up to, up to bat on the mound tonight for the old Abes. One and one here. Top of third, Old Abe's one, Hudson zero. Nice pitch that time. Just misses outside. Just a bit outside. Dog loose downstairs. Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Ooh, Ooh goodness, a little time. brush back there. Yep. 
thrust him there on the Dang. right the left shoulder. The right fielder, number 18, Jack Redwine. Redwine up to the plate here. A little warm-up music for him here? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got to do something. This is their cleanup guy, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, he's he's a bulldozer. Nice pitch that time. Yes. Put it right there. That's he a tough did. spot to turn on. Yep. Own one. He hung in there. What was it? What's it called when you take it? You take a What's pitch. When you get hit by it. When you take one for the team. Yeah. Taking it for the team. Not yeah. taking it for the team. Wear it. You got to wear it. Wear it. That's there what it you is. told me. Ground last ball year. that time to wedge goes two for one. Back to first and Wedge. Got him. Nice play. Great play that time, Wedge. Replay coming up. God, it's going to be good. Nice job. Just decisive with the throw. Got bus in there. Got the relay back in time. Great play. It's a tough play for a first baseman to make and then get back to the base to be able to cover, too. So, nice job. Excellent camera work by Adam, by the way. Thank you, sir. Get him a scoop of Culver's ice cream. There you go. <laughs> Tyson Allen up to the plate. Number five batter. Nice double play that time by Hudson. Yeah. Ooh, a little low on that, what do you think? Might have been a little low. It certainly caught the corner. Our plate umpire there, Zach Campbell, he's the head basketball coach at River Falls. He's a little tall oh, yeah. guy, so he's got to give these pitchers a little bit more of a strike zone. It's not, <laughs> it's not his knees, it's the batters. That's funny. Well, I tell you, we certainly appreciate the uh, the umps out here. That uh, that is a thankless job at times, and sure can be. We certainly need the help uh, at all levels. All sports need those. Uh, nice pitch, beautiful dirty. curveball. Ooh. Need those officials, right? I mean, that's something we're always talking about. Do you uh, see that? Do you see that in hockey too? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, man, for sure. It seems like all sports right now. Oh, for sure. Nice curveball. Oh, that time. Oh, beauty. Oh, beauty. Oh, man, comes back with two curveballs. Yeah. Count full here. Really nice action on that ball. Mm. Yeah, it's it it is it's tough and it's you know unfortunately it's kind of thing it's a thankless job it yeah. can be sometimes all off. Yeah, I think it's interesting. I think there's a lot of jobs that. Um, People are having a tough time filling. You know, I'm a recruiter oh, yeah. by, by trade, and it's a, it's just a tough. Uh, it's certainly a, a candidate-rich environment. Or, well, you or can't job just rich, keep I throwing say, money really. at the problem either. Ooh. That's right. Ooh. Von Berg battles back there, but Tyson Allen draws the two-out walk. walk yeah, it's you know, it's, they talk Will about Thibodeau. people want the right culture. They want. And at some point, employers are kind of like, well, what else do I have to do here to yeah. make you happy? Yeah. How's Derek? Are you guys uh, oh, we're looking for folks like oh, everybody yeah. else? Yep, yeah, certainly. Yeah. Yep. So, especially if you're a carpenter and you're listening, give me a call. Okay. We need like those it. all yeah. the time. One out or two outs here. Low on that See one, how I think. aggressive the old Abe's want to be on the base paths here with two outs. Get a different graphic next time. I'm only uh, not showing all the stuff I want. So bear with me, folks. I appreciate you tuning in. And Curveball. That time. Oh, got that to bend. Bend that. Turn him a little bit. <laughs> Tip it over the batter. Wow. That would have scared me off the plate for sure. Came in about uh, shoulder level and just boop. Fastball that time. Nice. Gets He's, through oh, the five, six hole. Gap. Nice hit there. Two out hit that time by Thibodeau. Brings up the home run hitter from his last at bat here. Leo Lauscher. Lauscher, the big rig. A little Herbeck, a little channel, a little Herbeck here. Wrong side of the plate. Oh, pff, <laughs> dang it. <laughs> Got to be so exact on things. So carpenters, is that uh, you guys looking for fresh out of carpentry trade school Absolutely. all the way up to experience? Experience, okay. You know, I love it. Let's get a plug in for you guys. Yeah. yeah. See how uh, again they want to how aggressive they want to be. Looks like the runner 
First, no wedge is not holding. Interesting how they pitched this one after that uh, home run last time. Went a little outside. That was a fastball he turned on, so see what they call. That curveball's been dropping pretty good for Von Berg yeah. here. Might want to just kind of play around with that. Yeah, I was liking those. Take the peek over the shoulder here. Curveball that yep. time, a little low. Get him Hold first. on to first. Very close play, but nice throw that time. Get a replay on that first play toss here. Pitch. Play. Ooh. <laughs> Thought he had him over there at first, I think. Again, great tough, camera tough, work. Tough, tough part is when on that when you don't tag the arm or the hand. Mm -hmm. A lot of times they get underneath it. That's what the umpire sees. Got it. Good pitch that Got time. <clears throat> two and one. Two outs here. Top of three. You can hear the... Uh, Player bench chirping down there. There, nice God, pitch, nice, nice pitch. Nice pitch. Come back with that same pitch here. You like that one one more? Yeah, he's he's aggressive up there, but take a little bit off it. Timing's a little off. Ooh, oh, got him. goodness. That was the curveball, but... What'd they call there? Not sure what they call the Raider side was getting pretty excited about it. And is there such a thing as kind of leaning well, into it? I'm not it? sure. Yeah, and I'm not sure. He looked like he kind of didn't move, but he at Definitely least kind of ducked. I wish I would have got the replay on that one. Looks like he squatted and kind of did this, you know. I got him. Well, plate umpire calls no pitch, so huh. we're still sitting at two and two. Interesting. Seen that before. Three two. Runners will be moving on the pitch. And here it comes to the plate. Jacks went out to center. Out to center field. Center fielder tracking it. Oh boy, that's a deep one too. Right to the fence. Got some speed coming around second base as well. Here comes the throw. Gets underneath that. Clears the bases. Wow. Man, I tell you what, there's some power there from Lauscher. That Lauscher, a home run, he's, a he's triple. He's big hitter tonight. Woo. I was shocked at how fast he's moving around the bases. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get out in front the triple. Of that. My goodness. Two RBI triple that time with two outs. Lauscher again with the big hit. Ball that time. Bjorn Pressler up to the plate. Fastball that time, strike. Crazy series there with him getting hit in the head. The next uh, pitch, he's taking it deep. Yeah, he, uh, he likes it. I'll tell you what, pretty good hitter up there. I mean, yeah. strong swing and Look like he's timing Ducharme here. Ground ball, throw over to first, over to Wedge to retire the side, but the old Not Abes pick up a couple out. more on the big Lauscher two-out triple. Two After two and a half, old Abes, Abe's three, Hudson third. zero. All right, Hudson back up here. Ducharme to bat. Didn't know I needed to wear my underoos up here tonight. My <laughs> God, <laughs> I wish I would have put You're on aging some. yourself there. <laughs> <laughs> Extra I, I, clothing. What, what do you got, Aquaman, or what do you? Are you a Batman guy, I'm or what? Kind of a, uh, kind of Superman. I like Superman. <laughs> yep. You must be Batman, I'm or Aqua. Batman. You're I'm Aquaman. Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> We're aging ourselves here. Oh man. You know, for hockey, I've got a really nice pair of, uh, you know, they go under your pants, and they're, they're just like the warmest things ever. You ice fish in them. Do whatever you yep, want. They're yep. just like, pff, they don't weigh a thing, you know. Oh, rip popped Charm up. that time. 
Pop popped up down the foul line. Big rig snow cones are again. That's two. Yeah, he's, he's making the plays. He is. It's not pretty, but. Uh, <laughs> making it happen. Center fielder Landon Zuli up to the plate. Just need to dump a couple hits over that uh, the infield here and get get, get things rolling, of, right? Get a little bit going. going, yeah. Only hit so far yeah. as that infield hit by Wedge last inning. So Hudson down 3-0 and need need a little uh, need a little fire there. Nice pitch that time, but Was. a little high. He's got some good movement on his fastball. Actually, if you watch watch that coming. Oh, Zuli. Out to center field. Center field parks underneath Got it, makes again. the play for the second yep. out. And Faino in the put out. It'll bring up the left fielder, number 15, Peyton Lawrence. Peyton Lawrence up to the plate here. Playing left field tonight. Two outs for Hudson, bottom of three. <laughs> nice pitch that time. Fastball from O'Connell. Feels comfortable out on the mound. Yeah. You can just kind of tell by yeah. how quickly he's getting into his motion, mixing things up a little bit. Nice hit. Oh, oh scoop and a grab oh, that time. The Low throw. Over there. That's going to get past first base. Lawrence going to stretch it out to second easily, rounding second. That's as far as he's going to go. Check out that hit and play. Losh over there from third. Made a quick play, he rushed did. the throw, and just off line and low. Now batting the third baseman, number two, Wiley Bomber. Bomber up to the plate here. Lead off batter. Raiders threatening here with two outs in the third. Need the Bomber to get bombing here. Wiley, I like that. It's the first name. Yeah. Little Wiley. Well, tell us about a little bit about the uh, the conference there, Mr. Sundin. Well, I think you're going to have a lot of the same teams that are near the top. Well, Claire Memorial being one of them. I, I really like Hudson's chances. I think, yep. uh, again, for the reasons we talked about earlier, but you got North, you got Memorial. Uh, River Falls is going to be good again this year. Still early, of course, and we talked about that condensed season. And Yeah. You know, one thing about that is having some depth because a lot of times it's not long enough for kids to get really, let's say you start in a batting slump, curveball that time. Uh, it's hard to get out of it. You just right. don't have a lot of time. Right. Same thing goes with, with pitching. If you've got the depth, it certainly helps. Um, so I, I would guess, again, those four teams. Um, New Richmond started off pretty strong this year, and I know they've got – couple of decent pitchers there, but again, I don't know that they've got the depth that some of these other teams have. So, curveball that time. Mm. Strike three. So, Hudson threatens a little there with the error. Two out error and runner at second base, but no runs. No hits. One left after three. Memorial, Oak Park Memorial three, Hudson zero. There's some fields that were great. Others that are stadiums that were good. Others just tough. Yeah, so the long, long story longer, it's always with me. Um, I'm covering a couple girls lacrosse games yep. and a couple boys games that are at the stadium here in town. Oh, good. good. So it's a known good internet. Great, you know, yeah. that's the main thing with streaming. You just have to have a good signal. Sure. And you can kind of buckle up anywhere. Bussin that time takes his time, makes the play for the first out. Yeah, I was surprised when, when I talked to you about the fields in the back of the high school that the internet's bad don't back have there. Internet. It's That's crazy. Just, yeah. So when we come and knock, where's wood at? I got to knock on wood. <laughs> when we come over here to these fields, and I think this water tower must have some 5G antennas or something. Okay. Because it's smoking over here right Is now. It? This okay. year's better than last year. Again, hmm. knock on, everybody knock on wood. But uh, but then you go over there, and I've got uh, I've got a little thing on my computer you can basically speed test it so you plug in your hotspot you plug in all you know and i've got a combiner thing to combine signals so i did everything i could and it was like ooh, Fly nice ball hit out the center zuli tracking it underneath it up oh, over his head wow. gonna go to the fence o'connell rounding second he's gonna go try for third two throws not gonna be in time 
Yeah, those balls are just kind of carrying out there. Those they outfielders are, are just uh, just a little shallow, and all of a sudden, boom, they get over their heads quick, and they're, they're hit well. I mean, that one went to the fence as well. So, Yeah, usually you think of this kind of colder weather. It's just tougher to get them out there, but boy, it's true. Like they've been jumping off the bat tonight. Yeah. Thanks for, for Eau Claire. That was the leadoff batter, Dylan O'Connell. I'm sorry, Luke Erickson, the center out. fielder. Sack here. Yep. Runner tags. Throw to the plate. Not going to be in time. Sorry, sacrifice that time by Peyton Platter. Gets the runner in from third yep. to make the score 4 0, Old Abe's. Good play. Two outs here. Top of four. Brings up the pitcher, Dylan O'Connell. Yeah, just to wrap up my story. So you go over to the turf fields over there, and it's yeah. almost like it's in a bit of a hole almost mm. over there. And I don't know why, but the signal's terrible over there. Mm. And I cruised around that whole area. Nice oh, what a grab. Time. We're going to get that on Baller replay. Gets up and grabs it. We're going to get that on the Line replay. Shot. Great play by Bomber at third. Pitch, the hit. Oh. Nice play. Eau Claire gets another run on the two-out triple that time and the sacrifice fly on one-out triple. After three and a half, Old Abe's four, Hudson zero. So we're, we're continuing our conversation about the fields over there. I don't know. I've looked into some boosters, and you need a good signal to start with. So okay. maybe if the school partnered with us yeah. and we were able to like either get their internet punched out somewhere where we could pick it up in, yeah. a, in a secure little jack or something. That'd be perfect. Yeah. Again, easy for me to say. Great. Tough tough to wire and tough for the school to get approved and everything else, I'm sure. But right. And you're right. Not a lot goes on back there. Mm, just inside on that one. Caught him for a strike. Braden Ducharme, the batter here. Leading off the fourth inning for the Raiders. Two and one. Is he Raiders a twin? A is that right? Fire. Yeah. Yep. He is. Okay. Yep. I was looking at the uh, the grade for him and his brother, and I'm thinking they're both seniors. Yeah. Do the math on that. Well, I know. <clears throat> I think they both played football. I know one one for sure. We yeah. had a cornerback that was. That was Braden. Mm, a little draws, low on that one, I draws think. The walk. Yeah, yeah, we'll take Good it. Start, absolutely. We'll take it. what the given. Jake Busson up to the plate here, looking for a little, uh, little love here, a little fire for the Raiders. There you go. Got a hold of one. Playable on that right side. Second baseman gets over, makes the play. Wow. First out. Before the put out. Brings up the first baseman, number one, Owen Wedge. All right, Wedge, let's see what you got. Wedge, our first baseman, number one. Wedge legged out the infield single for the only Raider hit last at bat. Let's see what the Raiders want to do here. They're hard of their order. Ducharme with a little bit of speed at first. Throw back to one. Oh, my. Get the pickoff play. Got him. Now see, again, we talk about that angle that those umpires have. That was a tag on the back. I'm watching the replay on this one. Tough to tell. Yeah, those are bang-bang plays. And... <coughs> Right down on Main Street on that one. Nice pickoff throw, regardless, by O'Connell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Height you said. Time. One and one. You can really feel he's just grooving up there right now. Just, yeah, just boom, boom, you know, boom on the pitches. Gets the pickoff there. He's just he's feeling the rhythm. That sounded Base solid that's right that's there. Gonna get over the sounded solid. Right fielder's head. Wow. Wedge legging it out. He's going to get to three as well. Get those long legs going, Owen. There's not going to be a throw there. 
still gets the slide. Remember Owen last year? He get, <laughs> likes to get the pants dirty. Oh yeah. Gone forever, Aaron Hernandez. <laughs> I like <laughs> that's for you. <laughs> Ropes the line drive Woo! to the fence there. Wedge with the two out triple. Again, I like it, getting the pants dirty. Mom Angie, she likes uh, she likes washing clothes. So get out the tide. All right, let's see if Hove can drive him home here with two outs. Catcher with a nice stop that time. Trying to get a replay on that hit, but it didn't have one queued up, so you just have to imagine how sweet it was. Well, they can great hit. They though. can rewind it when they watch. That's right. That's right. Great hit by Wedge. Yeah, I'm sure Angie, uh, is it Angie? Is that mm -hmm. his mom? Yeah, I'm sure she appreciates the dirt all over <laughs> uni. <laughs> there you go, Mom. Ooh, curveball that time. Ooh, that was a, that was a one good and one. pitch. High and away on that one. What happened to the sun, Ken? I know. <laughs> we need like a door behind us. There's the breeze just comes right up my uh, <laughs> right up your my back, pant huh? leg in my back right now. Yeah, I'm just I'm murmuring sweet nothings to the weather right now. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it's happening. <laughs> yeah, I can't tell you how excited I am for spring to hit. Uh, hopefully this year. Oh, Fastball that time tight. evens the count. It's funny, last year about this time, I remember sitting over doing softball uh, and actually working up here, too. We were sweating chops, yeah, drinking water like we were, you yeah. know, camels in the it's desert. weird how that goes, isn't it? Curveball that time, got him. Oh, it's a pretty pitch. So Hudson, with the two-out triple from Wedge, can't get him home. After four, old Abe's four, Hudson zero. And so I got him covered. Yeah. Yep. So I told him I would talk to you and yep. get Ken speaker. But yeah, so he's going to do do that. And it sounds like he's got his crew Good. rounded out. Good. So I get to sleep that night. You get to play. I'll be up there playing. Yeah. I uh, somehow talked the uh, the committee into buying a couple speakers. Nice. Yeah. So they're, they 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 got them now. Yeah. Good. So we'll have one back in casino. We'll have one. Uh, we'll have a couple out there. And I, nice yep. pitch that time, jamming. <clears throat> the nice part. So I'll give a little plug here. So Pepperfest, um, yeah. I have somebody that runs the casino for Pepperfest that I know, and he is now providing all the tables and basically everything the casino needs. Ground ball over to Descharm, throw over to one, over to Burkoff for the first out. So it's nice because it's not as much stuff that you have to worry about buying or hauling and all that kind of stuff. You can use everything the Pepperfest offers that. So not the same things, not the same it'll tables the, we had last year? It'll be the same as last same, year. Okay, because this Before, is really nice. what, they, what they used to do, we, we had tables that we were basically homemade, but they okay. were pretty old. So yeah. it was good to get. And then the nice part was the Pepperfest. Don Bazard, as his name, was the person that actually delivered them. For us and oh my gosh. loaded them up. How great is that? Yeah, people are pretty generous. I like when the community comes together and we're just like, hey, I'll help you out with that. Yeah, right. Well, I got you guys on that. Yep. So that'll be a fun it's night. Awesome. You'll have to get yeah. a plug for that. When's the date? Oh, gosh, I should know that, but I don't. It's June something. Nice it's the same night of graduation, so they literally, it's going to be a crazy Perfect. night. Perfect. They graduate, say they're, you know, hugs and pictures and stuff, and then we head on in. Yep. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to have a couple uh, Mountain Dews that night. For sure. Off-speed pitch that time. Popped out to right field. Oh, nice play. What Excellent job grab. that time. Diving grab by Brennan Ducharme. Nine on the foot out. Oh, Wedge's pitches the Ducharme, are deceptive, aren't the they? The Ducharme brothers are both in yeah. pursuit of that play. Yeah, he's he's got a little bit more speed than it looks like, but the mm -hmm. off-speed stuff is... I mean, there's a curveball, there's a changeup, just um, good placement pitcher as well. I mean, it doesn't look like there's just any effort. He's just playing catch with the catcher, right? Like, yeah. just, well, just chuck this in real quick. Fastball that time. time. Yeah, so a quick plug again for the seniors. Uh, Hudsonsafe.org is where you'd register your senior if you haven't already for the OMET party. Um, I don't know what it costs. It's not much. 
But it is a heck of a deal. Seniors just have a blast. I was witness to this my first time last. That's fun time last Ooh, year. Nice pitch. Yeah. And it's a riot. I mean, they've got that hypnotist that came in. I think you're going to have again. And then they've got just a ton of fun stuff all night long. I think it goes until 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning. Right. Um, and there's a ton. So all the, like, the gambling that we talked about, that gets you bucks that you can then buy raffle tickets with. Those raffle tickets you put into buckets that you like of stuff. Big screen TVs, Apple computers, mm-hmm. iPads. I mean, wrapped right Line to him. Right to Bussin. Take it. Wedge again in control. Nice job boom, on the mound. Boom, boom. No runs, no hits, nobody left. Raiders coming up to hit. Bottom of five. Down four to zero. Hunter Carlson up to the plate here. Bottom of five for Hudson. Need a little bit of little, little bit of juice, Ken. A little something, something some going hits. on here, yep. Get some runners on. Make this fun. Get out there and make them work for it. Mm. Strike one called there. That one got away. Up, then away on, on that one, just outside. There we go. That's what you needed, a little bit of that music. Yep. Let's get it fired up here. Two and one here. It just sounds so clean, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> oh, wow. Fastball that time. Some heat on two that and one. Two and two. Just caught that inside edge. On the DH, Hunter Carlson. Falls that one back, staying alive. A wake up call for the cameraman Adam. <laughs> gonna have to get him a catcher's face mask at some point. <laughs> he's gonna be like, he's got a little bit more facial hair than he had in the f- football season. Yeah, he's eh? really going Mountain Man on me right now. Good eye that time. Oh, that's Full close. Count. Mm-hmm. Oh, got it. Oh, short hop that yep, time to the shortstop. Nice, nice. Oh, he drops it off the bag. That will be a runner for Hudson. Goodness, just when you think, oh, easy play to the short, mm-hmm. over to first. Not so much. You know, that's why it's just that's important. Right fielder, number seven, Brennan Duchamp. It's important to put the ball in play. That's the key. they got to still yep. make the play. So, Just popped him in the glove there on first, dropped it right in front of his hand, and nice hustle. Brings up some Brennan of that bubble Ducharme. gum in you. Good. Yeah. I, I got, I got the ball game. Got to chew some gum. Got a couple for you. It was inside just by about an inch or two. Ducharme had that great catch on right field. Nobody out here. Runner at one is Carlson. Ducharme at the plate. Ground ball. Stubbed little it. hopper up the middle. That's oh, going to be tough you. to handle, and there nobody there to cover, too. <laughs> How about that? Just kind of snubbed that one. Just hopped right up sitting. the middle. We'll get a replay on that real quick. Yeah, like bounce right in front of the plate, up over the pitcher, and just a tough one to handle. Nice that's play. What, we'll take what, it. That's what they call a seeing eye single. <laughs> we'll take it. Yeah. I don't know if I mentioned yet, but McCarty Construction is our booth sponsor this year. You're going to see their logo up on the screen, and they have sponsored our, our booth this year. So thank you, uh, Mike and the McCarty Construction crew. Landon Zuli up to the plate here. He's outside. Raiders threatening nobody out. Runners at first and second here in the bottom of the fifth. Got a you know, little hole here. Got four down, but certainly nothing you can't dig your way out of. Absolutely. String a few hits together. That's right. That's right. Dog pound going on over there right now in the dugout. I'm liking it. Ambient Mike picking up some of that action. Good to get a little activity in that dugout, too. Get a little fire going on a cold afternoon. Mm -hmm. Oh, got him chasing that one on the outside. Yeah, I laughed at my kid. He said, Dad, are you going to bring your portable heater up to the booth tonight? I'm like, no. <laughs> you should have done that. Yep. What was I thinking? It's 
So one thing we um, time call Midwesterners, especially people from up here, we we get teased by the weather a lot. All yeah, of a sudden, right? it's like, yeah. look at how nice it is outside. Right. Oh, we're a t-shirt. I know. Well, my kid took the little fishing boat out. He was going to Malibu fishing this afternoon. He's like, Dad, <laughs> sun's out, guns out, let's go. I'm like, have fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they're out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One and two here for Landon. It is fun having a little fishing boat for those kids to run out. Absolutely, on. yeah. And I love that they love fishing. Nice. Mm. Staying alive. Yep. Kind of thought about that one. Caught it late. Bounced it out to foul there, right side. Just need a hit here. Don't have to take it uh, yep, just deep. Again, just get a good keep hit. It, keep it in play. Yep, yep. Make them make a play. Got runners on That's base right. here. That's right. Good eye that eye, time. Yep, yep. Again, the other thing is you want to get O'Connell, get a little pressure on him. Yeah. He's had a few easy innings mm -hmm. here, been able to kind of roll through mm -hmm. without a lot of pitches. So. Yeah, I agree. Two and two. Mm. Pop up here. See if they. Oh, that's going to get to the outfield. I thought they might. It holds. Call of course. that off. Mm. If not, you the foot out. Peyton Lawrence coming up to the plate here. Now batting for Hudson, the left fielder. Number 15, Peyton Morris. There you go. See if we can get that. a little more music yep. going here. Get something, get the uh, rally going. Bow, 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 bow. Connell, not too worried about the runners on base, but uh -uh. at the same time, if you're a Hudson base runner, you got to be watching that pick play, especially at first base. Yeah, he was He's pretty got smooth. a good movement yeah. there. Yeah. Popped up. Again, right side, first baseman underneath it. Infield fly. Two down. Infield fly. Bring up the third baseman, number two, Wiley Bomber. Well, Bomber, we need a bomber. Bomber here. with a nice play, line drive snag at third base. Let's That's see right. if he can get a two out hit here. Play to run for the Raiders. Mm. Good looking pitch. Coach coming out to talk here, chat here with O'Connell and the catcher. Just looked at uh, the old Dave's lineup or roster here too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve seniors on that group. Wow, that is a so a lot heavy, of those guys again with experience. Class. Last year made the state tournament. Yeah, hmm. that certainly always fares well for a team, right? You get a bunch of returners that. Well, clears a took it deep last year. Yeah, Eau Claire in general is a big baseball town. Yeah. Always yeah. has been. They play down in uh, Carlson Park. Oh, they, yeah. Yep. Yep. That's a great facility down there for a bunch really of Eau Claire is. sports, yeah, isn't very it? Very cool. It's fun to pass ball. Runners advance. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> push up. A trip a and a push up. Quick push ups down at third. Let's see if we got that on camera. That's a big, that's actually a big pitch right there because that moved both runners into scoring position. 0 <laughs> 2 on Bomber. Sorry, that cracks me up. <laughs> Doing push ups down there. You got to remember they're high school kids. Right? I just, that's the beauty <laughs> of high school. It's just so fun for me. Just a, it's just great. Good energy. I just I love the crowd. It's just awesome. 
Oh, and thank goodness we're back. You know, those COVID years, that was well, tough. Man. That, wasn't that I, weird calling yeah, sports with just, nobody in the was, stands, just I, quiet? You know, of course, when we talk, I ground ball here, there. shortstop. See if he can handle it. Oh, oh he can not. That's going to score a run. Wow. Infielders having a little bit of, yeah. of a tough time on that right side, or that left side today. Kind of those slow rollers. They're having a tough time once it gets through the grass to the dirt. Yeah, you wonder if that dirt still, I'm sure, has some moisture in it and mm -hmm. it just kind of creates like an off speed spin to it. All this, who knows? Right. Anyway, Something, we'll, 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 we'll take a, we'll we'll take take a run it. there. Yeah, we'll take that. A runner on first and third now. Ooh, comes back with one right down the middle. Braden Ducharme here again. Raiders with two on on the bases. One run in. Runners going. Ooh. Foul tip. I like that. Two down, is that right? Two down. Okay. Yep. Owen to the count on Descharm. Hunter going again. Pitch out. Well, They're going to make the throw him. down. Cut off by the second baseman trying to get mm. that <coughs> runner at third to jump, but. Not going to do it. We got to give credit. We forgot to talk about our buddy down there, Coach Blagan. Yeah. He uh, kept him kept him home and. Got both runners now in scoring position. Smart play. Fall back. Oh, Blagan, he is, uh, Coach Blagan, great guy. Good guy. Got a chance to talk very to him pregame and just very energetic, upbeat yeah. about the team, the season, what's going on. Just really, really good guy. Yeah, yeah nice appreciate to have that. a little bit of stability in that coaching position. I think we've talked about it before. Yeah, Quite right. a bit of turnover in the years leading up to his hiring. And then, of course, first year's. COVID, right? Yeah, so right. So he had right. that weird summer where they had contact days for about three weeks, and they played one game. Right. Just so. goofy. <laughs> just one game. Isn't that nuts? <laughs> yeah. Here's your season. Okay, it's <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, man. A wacky world. Yeah. Well, we are happy to have him on board. He's great. Nice. He's, just, he's staying bat, in the box. I bat. love it. Yep. Love it. Ducharme battling up there. Go, let's go. I got this one just for fun. Just a bit outside. Love that guy. He's one of the Still best. Still calling right? games. What? Still calling games. Not really? not as Legit? many as he used to. Really? He plays. He calls a lot of the home games. I think he goes to uh, sometimes when they play on the road against like St. Louis or Milwaukee. Oh. He's still calling them. He's got one of the best sticks ever, and I'd love to copy it, but I can't. I can't. I, you got to just let him own that, you know? Yeah. Outside on that one. Ball outside. Good at bat here by Ducharme, yep. battling. He really is. Taking about uh, four or five foul, I think, and good eye on that last one. Come on, put one into play here. Oh, boy. Inside Sheesh. corner. Just came about in at the where, last second. Yeah, just about where yeah. you could not hit it at all. No, it was just jamming right up. Hudson <laughs> does get a run, though. One on one hit, a couple of errors, two men left. After five, it's Eau Claire Memorial four and Hudson one. Well, here comes the big hitter. Leo the Lion. Yeah. Up to bat. He's, uh, I think he's accounted for at least three of their runs so far. The solo home run, the two-run triple. Yep. That's just his two at bats, right? Two at bats. Yeah. Yep. He's uh, something. One and all here. Let's see what Wedge can do with him, though, right? On Lauscher. Oh. Got him that time. Oh, oh, oh dirty. The off speed stuff off is. Speeder. Oh, nasty. Work that. Ooh. Ouch. Got him there again. Wow, Wedge is. He's aggressive up there. Uh -huh. He's going after it. That pitch was about a foot outside. He wanted to take that the other way. One and two. 
Ground ball down the third. Balmer has it. Throws over to Burkhoff for the first out. Take it. Dug that one out of the dirt nicely over there. We've seen some trouble in the dirt, but uh, nice play there at third. Good camera work by Adam as well. Yep. Appreciate that. So, well, you, so you, you go with a little mix here with pitchers. You've got a righty, obviously, throws hard in Von Berg, and then you come back with the lanky lefty who <laughs> can throw a lot of off-speed stuff. <laughs> And it throws those batters off. It usually takes for them an sure. inning or two for sure to kind of get their timing down. Mm -hmm. And then, like you like you mentioned, I mean, Wedge has some speed, too, and he wants to throw the fastball he can. Right. Yeah, he's got a, just a variety of uh, bag of pitches over here. There oh. it is right there, that fastball. Pretty. Let's hit that outside and got him. Oh, that came in nice. Just a little high, I guess. <laughs> got somebody yip yapping in the background. <laughs> you got to love the fan now, Mike, picking up stuff. And sent up the middle. Nice play. Quick nice throw. play that time. Nice. Boom, Good boom. Good job by Ducharme getting over there at the back to make that throw. Yep. Yep, great play. Digging our, uh, really digging our instant replay this year. I don't think we had that last year. All right, so two down here. Sixth. Wedge uh, looking good at the mound there. Yeah, he's been able to keep them in control. Yeah. Got that hit one. That time. Good hit. Going to the gap. Oh, it's going to get goodness. past the left fielder. Center fielder Zuli there to back it up. He's going to get it in to hold him to a double. Pinch hit double that time by Roman Trapani. Double for Trapani. Yeah, just got that right Comes in the... the uh, center fielder number six, Luke Erickson. Again, just over the head there. What's going on here? Re entry? I'm thinking, What's I'm thinking that that's probably the uh, brother of Vincent that we talked about earlier, who was a pitcher last year on this old Aves team. Okay. All right. Well, top of six here. Two out double for the old Aves yep. brings us back yep. to the top of the order. Luke Erickson pops that one up. Get some uh, wood on that one. Do charm underneath it. Makes the catch Wait. to retire the side. No runs, one hit, one left. After five and a half, Old Abe's four, Hudson one. Getting off for Hudson in the bottom of the sixth inning. Shortstop, number three, Jake Busson. Yeah, they're also in the back, that Raider clothing company. Yeah, I, I like how they've got they all the goodies it. back there, yeah, you know, for the Raiders. They've got a nice store there for sure. She's great. Jake Busson up to the plate here for Ooh, Hudson. Right, leading off the sixth. Just inside on that one. So I can't help just because I, uh, I've been around it a long time yeah. looking at our looking at our wind nets. I think we got to talk to – we got Jason Haverly in the booth here with us. His wife's on the uh, dugout club board. I think they need new wind nets, Jason. Just going to mention it. Tell him to get a fundraiser going. Do another polar plunge. <laughs> I, you I, mentioned Jason Anderson before. I think he's yeah. the one that oh, ooh, got him. Oh, goodness. That hit him or hit the bat. Hit the bat. And the wind nets, is that the blue? Yeah. Yeah, you can see the, the flags over at St. Croix County. It's just coming straight out of the south, right? Yeah. <laughs> But I don't know why we just couldn't we see that gap out there in center field. I know. Could never quite get that one figured out. I remember you telling me about that last year. Like, now that one needs to be fixed. I think we're short on material. <laughs> <laughs> just need to pull it around a little bit from left field and right yeah. field and meet stretch. in the middle. Yeah, just stretch it. It'll be fine. Two and two on bussing here. 
That one popped Pop up. up here. <laughs> See if it's in play. Everybody going Pitcher for it over there. Gets third. O'Connell makes the play. Good hustle by him. He won on the put out. Brings up the pitcher, number one, Owen Wedge. Well, it needs to get something going here. Raiders uh, jump one on base here. Wedge with a triple his last at bat, yeah. two for two on the day. Doing a nice job on the mound as well. See if he can keep his day going and get the Raiders a base runner here. Good Looks pitch, straight just one. inside, yep. Wedge doing a great job getting his uniform dirty. You like that too. Big time, like that. Up and away on that one. Hat here got away from O'Connell that time. <laughs> You know, similar pitch to the last one there, just kind of up and away. Wow, that one really got away. Mm -hmm. Getting a little tired on the mound there? I don't know. That, yeah. one, that one really got away. Yeah. Kind of coming off there a little bit awkward the last couple pitches. Maybe just trying to throw a little bit too hard. Three and one here. Down and inside on that one for a strike. Full count. All right, Wedge. <laughs> Got him swinging. Trying to bring up the catcher, number five, Kyler Hull. This one, you thought he might be getting a little tired on the mound, comes with a Two, uh, two big pitches at mm -hmm. the end there. That went away and inside. Thought about it. That yep. Time. yep. Good eye on that one. You said our umpire, he's the uh, River Falls coach? Mm -hmm. River Falls High School? River Falls High School basketball coach, yep. Okay. Popped up that time. Right side, second base backing up for it. Makes the catch. No runs, no hits, nobody left. Coming to the Did top of the seventh. seventh. Hudson down, four to one. That wedge at the mound still. Like what he's throwing. Number two batter, Peyton Platter, up to the plate here. Nice pitch by Wedge that time for strike one. Really like his pitches. It's fun to watch. Quick plug, I think we're back in action next week. Either softball or baseball, one of the two. I need to... Yeah, sort that out. Yeah, let let me know. There's probably going to be some makeup games. I'm yeah, sure that I get all the softball. Know. Yeah, yeah. I was. I'm gonna. I'll call you about that one next okay. week. Okay. I'm gonna do baseball or softball, one of the two. Yeah, I'm feeling bad for softball. We've already had three that got canceled. And yeah, one moved to the backfield, or two moved to the backfield. One canceled. Whatever it was. I don't. They haven't played many games. No. I don't think they played more than maybe three or four. I think you're right. Yeah, it's just been so uh, crazy out. Again, what ends up happening, because you, you, you still are at the mercy of the weather. Right. So you might have another rain out or two. All of a sudden, you're going to start right. seeing some double headers and just right. some games that you try to jam them in as much as you can because right. what they don't want to do is postpone playoff games if they can avoid it. Ah, gotcha. So Nice pitch oh, that time. Oh, just pulled just the cord on that one. <laughs> Hold on. Let's go. <laughs> That's a good one. You like that one? <laughs> You're over there nodding your <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the guys in the booth are like, what is wrong with those two down there? What are they giggling about? A little head ball up. that time. Bussin scoops it up. Throw on the run. Nice play by Jake Bussin. Great play. We'll get a replay on that one. Brings up the right fielder, number 18, Jack. Yeah, you're going to have to. 
Make sure you get some of those for the football booth. What's that? Some of the sound. Some of the sound bites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that one. So I've been uh, I've been regrouping on some of my uh, sound bites and, and it tried to really up my game. So yeah, definitely for football, we'll be we'll be queued up and ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Jack Redwine up to the box right now. Two outs. How's he done tonight? I feel like he's done. He's been pretty good tonight. Redwine. Really, it's it's. They've hit, they've hit the ball pretty hard. I mean, kind of through the lineup here. Mm. Lausher being the the big hitter, obviously, but yeah, home run, hit triple, the ball, hit yep. the ball hard. Well, next game I'll, I I will bring the book. This is fine. <laughs> so it worked when, out it, okay. When yeah, okay. it's it's nice when if it's like if there's a lot more hits and stuff, then it's sure. easier to track it that way. Yeah, but. I don't well, mind. I, it's this so way funny. I can keep I my hands in my pockets. I know. <laughs> Tonight we need to just hands in the pockets. Yeah, I was downstairs packing up all my goodies. I'm like, okay, got this, got that, got that. And I'm like, I know I'm going to forget something. <laughs> First thing you say, did you get the book? <laughs> yeah, yet. No. <laughs> Too funny. No big deal. Appreciate that. Oh, I just roped one in there. That looked pretty good to me. I just thought so, too. You can tell by the way he's kind of shaking his head out after that one. There's a screen ah, right yeah, there. He came right back on top, said he gave the look like, I just threw that same pitch, <laughs> didn't he? I mean, he literally was like, that was the same pitch. <laughs> too funny. Fall oh, back. Foul tip. Coming right at us. At the booth. Oh. Two and two. Two two. Ooh, there it is right wow. there. Gets it with the better own wedge. Woo. Comes off the mound. A little bit of grit in his teeth. A little air horn for that. Nice play. Good job by old wedge. No runs, no hits, nobody left. Coming to the bottom of seven. Hudson down 4 1. All righty. Leading off for Hudson at the bottom of the seventh. Bottom of the seventh. Hitter number 10, Hunter Carlson. Carlson's going to give her a go. Hunter walked his last time up, I believe. Let's see if we can get huh. it going again. Mm. They cut that time, strike one. Got him inside on that one. Foul back. O'Connell staying aggressive here. Mm -hmm. You can just see he's got some confidence on the mound. Yeah, for sure. Yep, he's been out there uh, since the start. Yeah, really pitch count's not high either, so he's been in command. Nice hit oh. that time. Whoa, oh, yeah, just gets jumped over. him. Just Opposite he, field. Put that put glove up play. like he had it and just whoop. He's hit for Carlson. Take a look at that right replay. Field. What a stinger missile down that line. Zoom. Coach out to the mound to talk to O'Connell. Don't see anybody warming up, so just going. I don't know if he's going to make a change here or not. Looks like he's going to. Second baseman coming into pitch right. now. Dylan O'Connell with a nice day on the mound. Coming into pitch for Eau Claire Memorial with the <laughs> This is what I do in my free time, Sundin. This is what happens I, I, at my house. <laughs> if, if you were over, you would know. You'd see all this ridiculous <laughs> stuff that happens. Hey, honey, listen to this. Yeah, hold on, I got another one. You ready? <laughs> Lion King? Huh? Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so Peyton Platter's your new pitcher. He was playing second base before. We're going to have a pinch runner for Hudson. Number six, Ben Land is going out there to... Ben Land. Run for... 
Hunter Carlson. Oh, Ben Land is a friend of the family. My uh, my son went to school with him back in the day and okay. had him over at the house a time or two. Good kid. Years ago, we had him and uh, one of his friends came over for a Halloween in our neighborhood. It's kind of one of those neighborhoods that yeah. at the time was hot. Now it's yeah. Third Street's everything, right? Is it yeah. Third? Yes. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Now, do you get there. hit as well? Because you're kind of in that We're area. We're right there. But do you uh, get hit, not, though? Not anywhere near. It's okay. like it's, yeah, like it's crazy. our house has the plague. It's a half a block away, right. but they right. just stay See. right on Third Street. Crazy. Maybe if I went out there and, like, with a chainsaw or something, like some of those actors they have on that street. Do they really? Oh, yeah. Last year they had one. Shut they, up. Yeah, they, one family hired, like, actors to do, like, Harry Potter stuff right in their yard. No way. You For gotta, real. You got to go check wow. it out. Go check it out. Well, I got to go. Well, I'll go come down hang with you or Dewey. Dewey's on Dewey's the there end of too, it, yep. I think. Yeah, yep, they're down there. So we, That's a fun place. In my neighborhood over back in the day when it was still popular yeah. up here to go trick-or-treat here, <laughs> I walked around as Michael Myers one year. Yeah. Had the jumpsuit, had a fake knife, gloves on, and the D-mask. Yeah. And I just walked around, creeped out people. At one point, I had a, a car full of girls, and the dad was picking them up, and he slows down as he sees me, and he's like, get them. <laughs> and so I creep up, and they're just screaming like, it was so funny. You know who does that now every year and looks just like him um, down on 3rd Street is Ken Stelsner. Oh, Stelsner? Stel- 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 <laughs> no way. He does? Yeah. See, we, I got to hang out down there at Halloween, yeah. apparently, because I'm missing out. All right, Ducharme up to the plate here. See if Hudson can get a rally going. Inside on that pitch. New pitcher, as we mentioned, Peyton Platter in to relieve O'Connell. Quick pick over at first there, not uh, not able to pull it off like his predecessor. <laughs> you hear that? Yeah. Ground ball. Oh, it's the dribbler. He's going to go to one, get the easy out there. Put yep. three in the put out. Now pinch hitting. Looks like Hudson have a pin- has a pinch hitter here. Number 13, Logan Von Berg. Oh, one, one down, out. right? Yep, yep. one yep. out, runner Thank at you. second. Get some of that uh, old school. All right, come on, boys. I talked to the guy that does the River Falls streaming. He does it for the fish or whatever, mm-hmm. too. He put in five, six thousand bucks worth of cameras. Oh my that goodness! Field. Yeah, oh. they had a sponsor that kind of chipped in for a a big, big to do. So he's got cameras. Are you showing me his deal? It's crazy. And that well, field, that field, it's a really nice something field. else. Yeah, yeah. And they, they like their baseball down there for sure. Yeah. And that fish team, it's a nice local draw for them. Yeah. Let's see if Logan can keep the, the inning going here for Hudson. Again, down four to one inside that time. Brush back there, really inside. It's interesting when you have a new pitcher come in. How you know? How are they going to work it through? Right? Are they right. just going to come in with some heat? They're going to work it kind of all over here so far. It's a strike that time. This caught yeah, the I edge. Mean, this, yeah. Again, we yeah. talked about just kind of the change and having somebody in that's a different look than what the yep. batters have been seeing. Right. Certainly not as much speed as O'Connell had. Struggling a little bit to get ahead in the count as well. So got him that time on an inside pitch. Oh, he did not think that was a two and two. <clears throat> All right. He'd be a hitter. Guy out on second. Take a nice healthy lead off the base there. Curveball that time. He's outside. Ooh, just, <laughs> just a bit outside. Hard to look at that one. Just a bit outside. He yeah, that was uh, that was definitely one to <laughs> maybe jump. Yeah. All right. 
Oh, there, ball inside, four. Saw that Draws one. the All walk. Right. All right. Yes, they say good eye, good eye. <laughs> Looks like Coach Blagan's going to get a runner out there for Von Berg. Well, the tying run at the plate. With the re entry, gonna bring up left fielder number 15, Peyton Lawrence. Number 21 on first base for Hudson. Looks like Dylan Lafave. Sophomore. One outside. No, but the tying runs at the plate here yeah. for Hudson. Yeah. Peyton Lawrence up to the plate. Peyton is the number nine batter here, so getting ready to turn over the lineup. Let's see what happens. Ground ball. Jammed him. Short one. That's a hard play there. It is. We've seen struggles there before. Safe. Got oh, him. Boy. we got him. Actually, a nice play that time by Lauscher. Came up, and he knew he had to throw quickly. Got the throw over. Good hustle by Lawrence down the line. So Wiley Bomber up to the plate here. Two outs, two runners in scoring position. Bomber, need something from you. Put her into play. Curveball that time, strike one. You can just feel the tension in here, right? Everybody gets <laughs> quiet. Neither bench is really <laughs> chattering right now. Everybody's like. <gasps> <laughs> Pitch. Ground ball. Right That's up the middle. Up That's the a middle. gap. Yep. We'll score it's one. Score one. You're waving the second one. Gonna throw. Coming into home side. He's good. He's Woo! Come on now, Hudson. Hudson scores two to bring it within one. Right in the seventh. Woo, come on, baby. Big hit that time by Bomber. Keeping it alive. Keeping the dream alive, baby. So Descharm, one of the Descharmers up. Which one is this here? This is Braden, Braden. Descharm. All right, Braden. Well, it was that hit you talked about earlier, right up the middle. Yeah, yeah and, those uh, are tough to handle for pitchers for sure. And then up and center away. fielder came charging in, but throw was a little bit late. Good hustle out there by the uh, Raiders. Making it interesting here late. Runner going. Going to try to get him hit and run that time. Foul ball. Oh, my out thing was working. It was so bright in here, I couldn't tell. <laughs> Registers your outs right here. Mm -hmm. My base thing's not working, though. Sorry, high tech redneck over here, excited about some stuff. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> the lights are on. All right, Hudson. Ooh, going to first. Yeah, Bomber, uh, good speed over there on the base pass. We'll see if Coach Blagan wants to try to mix something up here again. Oh, I love it. Hit and run, Love it. maybe a steal. Not a big lead, but he's taking off. Throw down to second base. Oh boy, oh boy. He got him, oh, he had a nice throw. Rolling the dice nice on that throw one. that time. Well, it was, a, it was a pretty fun ending there at the end. Really Hudson, a yeah, uh, couple really of was. hits that inning and were able to plate two runs on that uh, two out single by Balmer, but I like the aggressiveness. I like, uh, you know, again, season's young. Coach Blagan's got a lot of players here that are new in new positions that he really hasn't coached that long. Sure. So sure. you got to try some things. So Hudson with their first loss of the year, but we talked about it. I mean, it, it's going to be a, a battle in this conference. Right. And Hudson right. will Always be right is. in the mix of it. Yeah. Some nights the bats are hot. Some nights, uh, you know, I, I think even if you look at the – at the box score, I mean, the old Aves gave Hudson a couple opportunities with some errors in the field. You're going to have that sometimes. Sometimes it's going to affect you. But that's right. Uh, again, good game. Fun to have it yeah. come down right to the end, and it's fun to be back. Yeah, great to be back at it with you. I appreciate you joining me in the booth. 
I need to go warm up. I think by no a kidding. fire or something. Yeah, no kidding. I'm Ken Conan. That's Aaron Sundin. We are Raiders streaming. Adam Tilson on our camera. Thank you so much for all the great shots. Again, join us next time. You can catch all of our um, schedule at RaiderStreaming.com. That's where we have all our info. Again, we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.